good afternoon, people. I was going to do the video from here, but I feel weird. It's hard to explain. I've got, I know I'm used to, used to Michelle standing here, but I did one before, and I was sort of in the seat, which is there that you can't see at the moment. But hold on, let's just lift that up a little bit. I think I'm suited behind here. Anyway, it's a Volt City Double. It's two sessions. Yeah, I feel more comfortable here. Look better probably further away as well, if I'm honest, right. 4.5 ABV, only you, Love Hearts Session Sour. It's a modern sour beer. I'm not gonna read it all to you because I've been here all day doing both of them. And this is an apricot Session Sour coming down at 4.2, slightly lower ABV than the Love Hearts. I mean, if you've seen a new modern sour, you'll know pretty much what they are. I think this one of them came as the Brew Star box and one of them came from somewhere else. They're not your thick smoothie ones, but they're not the sort of price of that. These are the sort of ones that you'll get. They'll be like some of the ones you'll get in Tesco's, etc. So that's that one done. It looks quite smart, Paul. Smells all right. Takes you back in time. I do like it with a lot of the Volt City ones. I'm gonna take you back in time. I've never done a double on my own, so this is a new one. See, I'm getting there. I'm definitely getting some apricot out of this beauty. Right, let's get a shot of these quickly before I go too far with them. And I'll tell you what though, so far so good. I know they're pointing me and not you. I will sort that error out in a minute. Let's have a look here. Well, really not that good that flip phone right let's come around there i'm getting confused here so we have apricot session sour coming at 4.2 percent abv as you can see there and then obviously the love heart session sour which is really going to take us back in time isn't it right first look at that nice thick head and obviously the color of apricot it really does smell of apricot now me personally on some of these session sours, I know you're not paying the smoothie prices because I do like the thick smoothie ones uh, much more. Pro a lot of the higher Volt City range and the ones that Brew Export get from the States, they're probably more suiting my palate. I'm just doing a Brew Export order at the moment. It's just if I drink too many of the Brew Exports without Michelle, she might get angry, let's just say. These ones, she won't mind. So, apricot session sour. Got the sour bite, good bit of fruit, uh, fruit. Yeah, um, what did they say? Mix of fermentation, golden sour ale, was brewed locally with Scottish barley, conditioned with a ton of apricot puree, creating bold stone, fruit aromas, and a bright punchy tartness. Zingy, refreshing, crushable, and a nod to warmer weather. That's pretty good, really. Um, but it does have that sourness, which a lot of them so much miss. When you're swallowing it, you get an apricot all the way through. You're not getting, what else did they say you were getting? Yeah, yeah, yeah it's tarty, obviously, but bold stone fruit aromas i could only get apricot to be honest but you know it is what it is right let's have a look at only you lovely hazy that isn't it so there you go well that is surprising i didn't see that one coming seems to be a bit more of a thicker head remember i've left it for a while though don't i always get the I can't say enough, like a Wizen beer with a sour beer, how important it is to get the bottom out. So this is saying street strawberries, lime juice and lemon sherbet. What's in the sweet? It smells really sweet, really like sweet over there. Right. It's bloody sweet all the way through. It's got all what it's saying. 
I'll give them that. It does have the sour hit. For me, on first impressions, I'd say it's probably a little bit too sweet. But it's certainly not bad. I remember having the mango one. One sour from Tesco's. Lemon sherbet, yeah. Mixed with annotation of base beer. A session you can trust and fully fall in love with. Uh, email me was a suitable message for your crush. Right, yeah, okay. Okay. Love hearts, yeah. Remember the lovely little sweets. I love the artwork. I know I didn't show the cans like Michelle does. I do apologise. Reminds me of a certain album by a certain musician. There you go. American musician. With a band really big back in the 80s and 90s. I don't anyone will listen this far and be able to name him in a way. There you go. Unfortunately, that musician is not with us now. And that's kind of like that psychedelic scene that he had. So there you go. Interesting. Can you name him? I used to be a fan. Right, um, yeah, that's the best thing about that, Can is the artwork, if I'm honest. When I talk of the two, I prefer the apricot. It's not as sweet all the way through. Although they're exactly the same, in the way they're both full 40 mil cans. I'm sorry, I forgot to mention that as well. Saying, I need my staff people. Um, what can you say? I don't know. The only other thing I could have done any better is probably shake them. They always say shake them, you know, before you do it. But I look at it that you're shaking it as you're running through it in a way. For me, the apricot is a yes. Depending on what you're paying for it, three, four quid. It's doable anymore, no way. The only you I found a little bit too sweet. I think it was too much of the strawberry, raspberry, whatever it was. They were saying strawberry. The lime didn't counteract quite enough. But it weren't bad. It's drinkable. Would I drink them again? Probably, yeah. Not so much that one. Although the art works better. More so the apricot, but then I prefer apricots. But to tell you what, they've both got a good sweetness, a good sourness, which is absolutely spot on for me. Yeah. I really do love the sour bite at the end. Right, eight minutes. This was meant to be a quick one. Sorry. Bonjour.